Hey y'all, so I got some new sis or sir. I quit my job. Ciao. It was time, okay? But let's get into this video. Before I get started, y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hey y'all, I just released my first financial literacy ebook, How I Became Debt Free in 22 Months. This is an easy, educational, and encouraging guide. I want you to check it out. It's only $5. Look in the link in the description box below and click that button. So I'm gonna just go ahead and apologize about the little echoing in here. I'm in the bathroom and this is the best lighting that I could get, especially for the time of day. Because you girl, it's seven hours ahead in a whole nother country, but I'm gonna catch y'all up there, okay? Listen, shout out to my tripod because I low-key forgot I had this in my um, luggage. But yes, y'all, Miss Dugan said Zeus is to her job. You know, if I'm being completely honest, um, this was really like, it wasn't like, you know, it was a one-time incident. I was like, you know, I'm going to quit my job, you know. I think it was something that had just been building over time, over time. And, you know, if you're like me, it takes you a minute to get to a point where you are just done, like finito. And it took me like, you know, it was a long, close to four years, about three years, 10 months, but I'm just gonna say four years. It took me, you know, a minute to get to the point, you know, where I was just done. And, you know, I will say, you know, previous to COVID, I was really like a worker bee, you know, all the things they tell you, go to school, you know, get you a good job, work hard, work to, you know, work for your pension and all these other things. Like, I really subscribe to that life wholeheartedly. I thought that was the only thing for me. You could not tell me otherwise. But when COVID came, y'all... Something in my mind just clicked, and it was like, mm, like, sis, you know, people been working from home, you know, people been having like a good work life balance where work was not just driving them, you know, and that was something since 2020. That was something that really just like stuck with me. Like, I had a major mind shift. In 2020, you know, COVID happened. That's when I started my debt free journey. And I really, like, when I think back on it, y'all, like, I was in this box. Like, I was literally in this box in my thinking, uh, especially, but just in everything that I did. You know, I just had this linear, you know, path for what was for me, what all I could attain. And I wasn't, like, getting out of that box. So, you know, I know COVID changed our worlds in more ways than one. But for me personally, it just did something to my thinking. Like, I just was like, you know, it's a whole nother world outside of here besides getting up in the morning, going to work, being stressed out. You know, there is much more to life. And that is something that has just stuck in my spirit since then. Um, but, you know, it kind of takes you a while, you know, just to get to that point to be like, you know what, it's my time to just, you know, let this thing go. If you don't know and you are new to my channel, y'all already know I am a lifelong educator. Your girl was a teacher. Um, I worked in vocational rehabilitation as well. And then I got back into education. But this time I had left K through 12 and I was in higher education working with students with disabilities, which is my passion, right? So that's something that I've always done. I'm working with folks with disabilities. I loved it. Um, I was promoted, you know, all the way up, you know, to a position of leadership, to a director of my office. And, you know, I think for me, just over the last year, you know, those feelings, those thoughts that have been in my mind, those feelings that have been in my spirit about wanting to see what else life had to offer than me just subscribing to this notion of the nine to five life, you know, coming to work, working your fingers down to the bone, you know, going home and then thinking about work again, you know, that really started to weigh in my spirit, like real wholeheartedly. Like I felt like, you know, 
it, it was time for a change. I felt myself just getting just even more beat down. I saw just like the changes in my health. And y'all know I have alopecia, and I ain't no secret, but it is triggered by stress, right? So, you know, I saw the changes in my body, just my face breaking out constantly. Um, the changes in my diet of me, you know, really not being hungry, you know, when I should be hungry. The changes just in um, my blood pressure. Like, girl, your girl was on blood pressure meds. Like, yes, ma'am. I mean, I could not get my blood pressure down. And I remember just thinking to myself, like, sis, is there a better way to do this? Is there a way for you to do what you love, but on, you, but on your own terms? You know, and that was something that I really had been toying with. And there was a time where I probably would have been like, no, this is the only way. But as my mind started to change, as new thoughts and God started to do new things for me and expose me to new things, I was like, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It, it, it's a better way for me to do this. And I'm gonna have to go out and see and see what it's giving. So this was like a really, really hard decision for me. Like I had toyed with this for months, you know? And sometimes like, I think like a lot of us think, you know, I gotta set this big plan in place, you know, for me to make that transition, you know, whether you leave me a job, you know, what, what, whatever you're leaving. And, you know, it didn't quite dawn on me, you know, that when I was in my debt-free journey, like I wasn't really doing that to leave my job. I was actually doing that, you know, to, um, to just make a better all a better overall life for myself, for my future children, you know, things of like that. But now when I think back on it, like sometimes like God had had you in positions and you be doing stuff like new things and you don't realize that that you are preparing for something greater. And when I think back to that, like yes, I was paying off my debt, like yeah, like a girl was preparing to leave her job, you know. So it because I remember a time, um, my job being stressful was nothing new. It was a mess from day one. Um, but I remember a time when I wanted to leave my job and I couldn't because I had all these bills. And it's like, well, how you going to do this? How you going to do that? But baby, this time was different. Let me tell you, I already knew, you know, I had that number in my head. You know, your girl is a budgeting queen. So I had that number in my head of, you know, all right, girl, did this all you got to make to maintain this? Whatever you, you know, get is extra, you know, to do what you want to do. So this time was different. And I was like, you know, I kind of felt like God was doing something new for me. Like he was doing a completely new thing. I had all these new thoughts. I had all these new feelings, things that I had not thought about myself before, things that I did not know were attainable. Like it was just coming to me like over like a series of months. And, you know, I got to that point where I was like, you know what? I felt like I was at a precipice. I was like, dude, you're going to have to make a decision. you either going to go right or you're going to go left. But you can't keep asking God for stuff and choose it and choose to stay in that same state of stress. Choose to stay in, in just that same state of, I don't want to do this, you know. So that was one thing that I was like, all right, it, it's, it's, it's time, world. It, it's time. And that just kind of leads me to my next point. So, you know, I feel like when God is doing like a new thing, it's going to be the opposite of like everything that you think. So, prime example, you know, me thinking about leaving my job was a hard decision. And I remember thinking to myself, dude, it will, it will be easy for you to sit in here and just bide your time like a lot of other people do, you know, with retirement and things like that. Like, it will be so easy. But... What I what I feel in my spirit, what I what I desire is totally the opposite of that. And it's not and it's not like an easy decision. Like I think a lot of people think, you know, oh girl, I'ma walk out of here and XYZ, you know, hey, do sis, get somebody else to do it, right? But no, like it don't work like that. And I thought it I thought it would be like that for me too. But when I tell you it was not, and I remember thinking, like, this is how you know that this is a move, there's something new, that God is doing something new, Alexis. It's because, number one, it ain't easy. When I finally made the decision, put in a resignation, you know, you get all these questions. Oh, my gosh, this is your gift, you know. Why would you do this? How you going to do this? How you going to do that? Because God has told me something. He ain't told them other people. And I had to remind myself that, you know, you get all these questions. People looking at you crazy like, oh, I now used to be one of people too. Looking at people crazy who was like quitting their job and stuff like, 
why would you do that? How you going X, Y, Z? But being in that position, it was like, I don't know, it it was a full circle moment that it was like, okay, so, so, something new is happening. And like I said before, you got to make a decision. It'll be easy for you to stay here. So you're going to take the easy route or you're going to make some shape, right? Scared money don't make a dime. We, we have all, you know, heard that before, right? And I was like, okay, uh. Uh, I'm going to do this. Like, even just thinking about, oh my gosh, but listen, it, it's done, girl. I, I ain't going back to Egypt, okay? So, I actually, today is Sunday. My days are a little mixed up, but today is Sunday. So, last Tuesday, so this is real fresh, y'all. I, I really wanted to capture this while this was really, really fresh. Um, last Tuesday, um, I was my last day um, at my job. And, you know, over like the, these, you know, these weeks, um, like j just leading up to that, you know, it was very emotional. Like I said, sometimes I think like, or I thought, you know, oh child, one day I'm able to leave this place and it's just going to be the best day of my life. Woo! But, you know, no, it was very emotional, you know, just like leading up to that point. Um, and then I talked about stress earlier, you know, I had just been under, you know, just like a lot of stress and I had to make a decision to say that, you know, God ain't called for me to be stressed out. I'm sorry. He has not. And of course there's good stress and there's bad stress. And you can tell the difference, you know, when your body starts to have just like bad reactions and like, I just like, wasn't myself. Like, I was like, mm, I don't really like this person, you know, I want to be in my soft girl era, you know, um, just X, Y, Z. And, you know, that was something that I had to really just make a decision about and step out on faith. Um, you know, and it's hard. Like, I ain't going to sit up here and be like, yeah, you know. I, you know, I got everything together and all of this, you know, full transparency. Like I said, it was a hard decision, but I can tell you right now in this moment, I made the right decision. And that was something that I toyed with, you know, I was just like, God, like, please give me confirmation, even though he already had, but you know, you just be wanting, you just want God to be like, Alexis Dubin, you made the right decision, you know, but it, it doesn't work like that, you know, but and like I said, today in this moment, it's all is packing, um, you know, I made the right decision. All is well, you know, within my spirit. And I'm very, very happy to say that. In case you're wondering what your girl is doing, um, y'all know last year I went to Italy. I went um, with the archaeology crew. If you don't know, your girl is a licensed professional counselor under supervision. Um, so I am gaining hours toward uh, my full uh, licensure. That was actually a part um, um, of my master's degree. Y'all know I am a vocational rehab counselor, helping folks with disabilities to get jobs. And then a second part of that is that um, I, I took the courses, you know, to be able to become licensed um, within the mental health field. I almost did it. So shout out to my professor who really pushed me um, just into that direction because I wouldn't be here now. But you already know, you last year your girl uh, went to Italy with an archaeology crew. Like, y'all, when I tell you, I ain't know nothing about archaeology. I was thinking Jurassic Park, you know, bones, things of that nature. And I just saw a posting, you know, it said Italy, it said archaeology, it said mental health. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to apply. Why not? Not thinking that they would choose me. And that's another thing, too, y'all. We need to get our minds right. Like, you got to shit your mind. Why wouldn't they choose you, sis? You got all the things, right? So, shift your mind. Whatever that opposite, like, negative thing is saying, you need to say the total opposite, right? And that's something that I've been telling myself, you know. So, a few months ago, you know, got um, got a call, you know, like, to come to Israel, um, and then like it almost didn't happen. That's how you know it's God too. Cause he gonna make you step out on faithful real. So I'm gonna be honest, y'all. When I put in that two weeks, I ain't quite know if this was gonna be a team. But I was like, you know what, Lord, I'm just gonna step out on faith. I'm gonna do what you told me to do, and I know you're gonna make it work. And I stand here right now in Israel, yes, ma'am. But um, your girl got the call to come to Israel to be on another um, archaeological project. And just a little, you know, just a little piece. Your girl done dug twice um, internationally um, and then once uh, stateside, you know. So that kind of goes back to me just living in a box, you know. When I tell you, if you're a believer, 
you know, what the things that we have thought about ourselves, like you like your best thing, man, God can top that a hundred times over. So for me, being here in Israel on an archaeological dig site, um, you know, doing something that I never thought that I would do, something that I almost didn't do because I didn't want to take the courses because I was being lazy and trying to graduate quickly. You know, things come full circle. So you may be doing something right now. It may seem hard. It may seem like, you know, how I'm going to do this? Why would I do this? You need to do that thing, okay? Because it can come back full circle. So your girl is here out of the country. That's why I said I'm seven hours ahead. Um, and it's dark um, here right now. But, you know, I'm here and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like it's happening for me. It keep happening for me. So listen, you watching this video, you stressed, you in that job. You know, everybody has, you know, kind of told you, you supposed to do this, you supposed to do that. You know, are you living in the box? Are you in that same box that I was in? Girl, you need to break out, okay? Sis, sir, you need to break out and, you know, start just writing down the things that you want for yourself. Like I wrote down on like a vision board last year, um, international mental health, you know, clinician. Baby, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. So I'm excited. Like I am very just like, this is new for me. Like I'm learning just like new things about myself and I'm excited to share them with y'all. So y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know what questions you have. I'm pretty sure I have more to talk about um, on this topic as well. Um, but yeah, y'all, we doing a new thing in 2023. I have faith. I have hope. And I got a good budget, okay? <laughs> um, so I know, you know, that I'm going to be able you know, to do the things that I want to do, to do the things that I, you know, have always wished and hoped for myself. And I know that there's more unexpected good things happening as well. So I am excited, y'all. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel to follow me on this journey. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. And here is what my scenery is looking like for a little minute. Y'all, oh my gosh, this is Israel. It is so beautiful out here. I am just so grateful and thankful in this moment. Wow.